Hi, my name is Raghu and welcome to a brand new series where we are going to talk about Gen AI or Generative AI. Now, Generative AI, is it a buzzword or is it something that really matters? Uh, we'll discuss in this series. Uh, but a lot of people ask me this question like, what exactly is Gen AI? So Gen AI or Generative AI is a set of tools and technologies which will generate content using AI. So, so far, if you look at the industry, we had machine learning, we had deep learning, artificial intelligence, and most of these systems, their job was to predict something, right, or classify something. Now, in the era of uh, Gen AI or generative AI, the advantage is we are able to generate new content. So, generative AI deals with generating new data content which can be text it can be image it can be video it can be audio many more now if you look at broadly this landscape there are like so many tools and technologies and it will be practically impossible to talk about all of them but let's pick uh, some of the most commonly used tools in the gen ai landscape now we can classify them into different categories based on what is the input and what do they generate, right? For example, we have this popular conversational models. The classic example is OpenAI's ChatGPT. So conversational models, they take a text input and generate a text output. For example, in ChatGPT, you can give a prompt. You can ask it to, let's say, summarize a text so you're giving a text it will summarize it or you can ask a question it will elaborately answer so again that is the text or you can even brainstorm with chat gpt for ideas so it will probably work just like a chatbot so conversational ais are where you the, the input is text and the output is also text and apart from chat gpt we have google's bard and there is a new player called Cloud from uh, Anthropic that is also very popular in this arena. So conversational means you get text input and text output. Now the second category is image. Um, so here you give a text and the Gen AI system is able to create breathtaking, absolutely brand new images for you. And you could have probably heard about some of them. For example, we have Dal E, we have Mid Journey, and then there is Adobe Firefly. So these tools can be super useful for creators to get started with some ideas and generate images. So in the text to image landscape, you give a text and the Gen AI system is able to generate an image. We even have a text to video category inside Gen AI. And one of the tools that I remember on top of my head is there is a tool called Runway. So what Runway does is that you can give a text and it is going to generate a video. It can also help you to edit an existing video by creating brand new content. Now this does not mean like the input has to be always text. In the examples I discussed so far, the input is always text but it need not be for example very recently i came across a very interesting tool and that is called otter so otter is basically uh, what you say a voice to text right so it can probably listen to the conversations let's say you are in a google meet and and summarize and convert and you, it can give you a transcription so that is like the audio is input the text is output and we also have, for example, Whisper from the uh, you know, OpenAI uh, platform. Whisper also does exactly uh, the same thing, speech recognition. So Whisper can understand speech or audio and generate text. And some other shout outs or mentions are some special use cases. For example, we have GitHub Copilot and that is a gen ai tool for development code development so it can help you to generate code uh, we also have sora that is from open ai that's again a text to video uh, gen ai tool but it is still under development so so in short what i'm trying to say is generative ai helps you to generate content whether it is text or video or audio etc 
and now coming back to the million dollar question so what everybody is asking probably you already know most of this but this question uh, uh, is something that is a pressing question for most of people so will gen ai eat my job well the short answer is no i believe right i don't see a future where robots will walk into let's say an it office and starts it coding or i don't know maybe an ai ai based robot will go to a coach and 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 represent as your attorney but i see a future where there is a clear distinction of people from all the uh, you know uh, different areas of life there is a clear distinction of people who understand and use gen ai tools and who do not use gen ai tools and that leads us to the exact purpose of this uh, youtube podcast series so today we are starting a brand new uh, podcast series on gen ai and our intention is to help the it community uh, the it uh, technology developers to make familiar with the gen ai tools so that they can increase their productivity in their day to day lives so we are not going to master a new tool but there are so many hidden uh, i would say easter eggs in a lot of tools that you are using this can be probably some simple tools like let's say i don't know google sheets or maybe this can be a code development platform something like vs code so in this video series what we are trying to aim at is to be familiar with the existing tools that you are using and their gen ai capabilities so that way you can be one step ahead in the race in the competition right and i'm quite sure like i said probably going forward maybe in very short span of time maybe in a year or something uh, there will be a clear distinction being a developer and maybe a developer who is good with a gen ai tool i don't know something like copilot right so this brand new video series try to address this problem or try to bridge the gap between being just the regular it guy and an it guy with superpowers or gen ai i should say so one more thing uh, we will be releasing content every week and uh, we will be also sharing the agenda with you so in case if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel the it university youtube channel please do subscribe so that you will be notified every week when a new video comes up so today we just had a short intro we just understood probably some names that probably might have gone over your head i don't know so uh, just some names and what is gen ai but going forward we will go deeper into the discussion deep into the rabbit hole okay so let's get started and i'm so happy and excited for this series i'll see you next week with a brand new video thank you